If you don't know me, my name is Reagan and I am a barn manager here at Shootin' Star Farm in North Carolina. My fellow equestrians will know that everything is a work in progress all the time. There is constantly something going on. And one of our projects that we have had on the to-do list for a very long time is just reorganizing everything, but primarily the tack room. We started out with like, two or three boarders. We never even wanted to board in the first place. And then we grew into a primarily boarding barn with 20 plus horses and plenty of fantastic riders and people and just a really, really good family here. But that means our tack room has totally outgrown its space. Myself alone, I think I have like three or four saddles and a lot of horses for tack to grow with and it's just a mess. That being said, I want to send a sincere thank you to Garage Royalties for reaching out and really kickstarting this project. They offered for us to try some of their organization system in our tack room and I'm so glad they did because honestly, I don't know how we would have made this work without that system. Coming up with organizing ideas is definitely not my strength. I love organizing things, but I'm not good at coming up with ways to do it. I am not the creative type. I love executing plans. I'm not good at putting it together. That being said, I also want to seriously thank my boyfriend for helping me put all this together. He works all week, but then he didn't even complain about helping me with this on the weekend and putting it all together in one weekend. A little more background information before we get started. Um, my family moved into this barn in 2014. The barn itself was already here. We put things down like the cement aisle and um, we made a couple of the stalls and tack rooms and we added barns and we've grown it a lot since then. But the main structure of the barn has been something we've just had to work around. So it's not like we built our dream barn or anything like that, but we've definitely made it into our dream and made it work for us. So keep that in mind. This is definitely not a how I would build my dream barn situation, but how we made things work in our tack room. So if you're like me and you're already on your third cup of coffee, grab that and let's get started. All right, so let me show you guys what we're working with as of right now. Um, when we moved in here in 2014, the barn itself was already here. We put in the cement aisle and we cemented a couple of stalls to turn them into feed and tack rooms. Um, so we did not design this barn, but we are making do with what we have, which it's really not a bad setup. But of course, if I was going to build my own barn, there were some things I would change. So pretty much we have everybody's... Um, Tack trunk is in front of a stall, whether that be their horse's stall or not. No horse is really stalled here. They're all on turnout, so that's that. Um, I've got jumble corner over here. Um, another tack trunk. That is my girth montage and not my tack trunk. So it's just kind of um, organized chaos, if you want to say that. Over here is where my tack trunk normally goes, but I still have not unpacked it from the show. The horse trailer is still out there not unpacked because... I'm me. Anyway, so just like chaos over here. These shavings just got unloaded last night. This used to be Diesel's stall and it got turned into extra storage. So we keep like cow grain, um, goat grain, chicken grain in here, a bunch of old, um, what do you call it? Dirt bike parts, a car door. I don't know. This is just more chaos. Um, but this is where I keep my shavings. I just haven't put them in here yet. Um, there's a Walmart cart. Uh, I saw that on the side of the road one time, and I jokingly said I want that, and my boyfriend hopped out of the truck and got it. So that's my Walmart cart. Um, don't really know the purpose of it, but it's okay. Um, moving on. So one of the main things I'd love to change about this barn is this back wall. The light coming in drives me insane. And like when I'm trying to feed, and it's just like it's in my face, and it's just a lot. Anyways, here's the current tack room as it is right now. So this is one of our boarders box that her boyfriend no. made. No. Can you not? No. Anyway, this is one of our boarders um, box that my boyfriend, or my boyfriend, her boyfriend made her. So cute, adorable. This just kills me every time I see it. She's got her saddle and all her goodies in there. Um, this is normally a bridal wall. Obviously, I haven't unpacked the bridles from the show yet again. There's one of the cats. There's Dorito. I don't know where Cheeto is. Um, oh, Cheeto's in there with her. This is our dirty laundry. They love it. Hi, Chi Chi. Hello, good morning. Um, oh, sorry. Don't get under my feet. Um, okay, so then otherwise we have this... Um, shelving which is mostly just my hoarding materials um i've got like my lesson kids helmets and boots and stuff which i'd love to reorganize another bridal wall um again just kind of chaotic no one really has their own like space it's really just wherever it fits goes hey bonnie bonnie is that where you found the dead thing what is in your mouth 
Um, I don't even want to look back there right now. Um, here is, excuse me, kiddos. Here's the saddle wall right now. English and Western saddles just everywhere. Um, we have a couple Western racks, but mostly they're all English racks. Um, and then we have more shelving and this refrigerator. So there's a couple things in here that like take up a lot of space um, that I'd love to get either up off the floor or just help organize. Got dog food, cat food, litter box. Um, it's just kind of all messy in here and it drives me insane, but we make do with what we have to do. But it's time for a little spring cleaning. Wouldn't you agree, puppies? Wow, okay. I know. Hey, don't be mean to each other. Um, in here, so down here we have, this all is going to go somewhere else today. Um, I don't know about today, but in this process. Um, so we have, my boyfriend's in the process of building a shop, but in the meantime, his stuff that cannot be in the rain, um, goes here. So the, here's his project four wheeler. This is a Jeep engine. Um, we have some extra saddles that I don't really know what to do with right now. And just like a bunch of extra stuff. I mean, like what else is new, honestly? Um, this is his little wheelie thing. Um, another stuff corner. I, y'all, I have a lot of stuff. Okay. This is his old toolbox. He got a new toolbox and moved the old one here. Um, I feel like there's a lot of usable space in here that we could, like, I don't mind the toolbox being there at all, but like we have to organize the drawers. Um, and so treats, speaker, medical supplies, all sorts of stuff. But this also drives me insane. Like, I don't know y'all. It, it, it's just, it, <sighs> so much clutter everywhere. Okay. And then here's the big kicker. So when we first got the kittens, um, we had an incident where a stray cat killed Cheeto's original sister. So I had to go and get him a new sister and as a whole, I don't want to talk about it anyways. So we made them a room where we could lock them up at night so they'd be safe from predators. And, um, you know, this could be just like their, their area to be protected. So in order to do that, like I said, we moved into this barn as is. And it has a lot of holes in the stalls. Like, there's no way to, like, completely close it up. So we put this netting. It's, like, plastic netting. I don't know. Over all the windows, all the, like, open areas. Um, like, I really don't know why we put this pool noodle here. But, like, over the door. And you can see it's, like, everywhere. Obviously, it's not very aesthetically pleasing. But it does the job. Um, and it keeps the kitties in. And they like to they like to get up in between these bars. I don't know how they do it. Anyways, so that's the kitty's room, and I'm not trying to move the kitty's room. I'm also not trying to take all that stuff down. However, it becomes a problem, especially during the summer when we want to ride at night and the kitties are already locked up at night. We don't want to let them out, and it's just like this whole big thing, so no one can get to their tack at night unless they let the cats out. So here right now is the feed room. More chaos, and we got to the point where we are keeping my tack and another person's tack in the feed room for extra room um, also because like if we would ride at night we're more often to ride at night so we can get to it rather than letting the cats out um but like there's some hooks on the wall right now but just like chaos I don't I, uh, um there's you know this is my like my supplement shelf but it's hard to get to um these are all the feed bins which I don't mind the feed bins but like they're dirty they're crusty they're rusty they need to be re- they need to be improved upon, okay? Um, I keep some stuff. I don't really know why this was done in the original structure of the barn. Like, see how the light comes through here? Like, I don't know. Sometimes when I have a migraine and the light catches me, like, I feed at just the right time of the day where, you know, the light catches. It just... Anyways. Um, so, yeah. I don't really know why this shelving thing was left here because they were originally horse stalls, but I use it for shelving. I don't know, dudes. I don't know. Um... Yeah, so this all just needs help. So, my thought is... That's soaking alfalfa. What is that? That's a kitty poop! No! So, anyways, I think I'm going to start with getting the aisleway cleared out because I want to start by pulling things out of the tack room and the feed room, but also keeping it organized. Bonnie, stay out of there! So, I'm going to put this stuff elsewhere first because um, I still have everything left in the horse trailer, and I'm going to leave that in there as long as possible. So I can just pull it out and put it where it belongs instead of having to move it twice. Really? Would you just leave things alone? Okay. So, Robbie got... What? I'm vlogging. Robbie got this on his way in. I did totally not expect it to come this fast. 
This is the garage royalty stuff. Hmm? I honestly forgot what I got. <laughs> I know these are the main part. Yeah, so this part goes on the wall. You want to unfold it? So these are this, the whole section is going to be like eight by eight, I think, or eight by six or something like that. So, how do you screw them up? She said to make sure we read the directions because she said it's really easy, but just I don't know how to read directions. What else is in here? This looks like a really fun box. Oh, this is a cat, maybe. Baby, read the directions. Easier to not. No, it's not. She literally spent, sent me a specific message saying read the directions. I got some hooks. I figured these would be good bridle hooks. All right, these. These are like baskets. I don't really like them. Polo wraps. That's what I was thinking. I'm so excited! Yeah. Big basket! I do like that. Oh, that's two baskets. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I uh, do. Uh, I like how you can just do that. Crown wall system. Sick! I guess you can. Ah! Do I tighten down? Where are the distractions? Oh. What are you doing? Dorito. I'm going. I can't get mine. <laughs> Here we go, I got it. <laughs>
And here we have the final results. So already the barn is looking a lot more open, organized, and clean. We moved this big tack locker over here since this stall is only used for quarantine and emergencies and it takes up a lot less space in the tack room like that. And then we reorganized everybody's tack trunks. We moved them around as need be so everyone could have a little bit more wall space and a little bit more organization space, which works out really, really well. Cleaned up everyone's tack area and just kept it as organized and clean as possible. This is the only really like junk corner we have, which I feel like we just kind of have to have one at this point, but it has a bunch of barn utilities, medical supplies, and my vet box. And then we ended up moving all of the grain bins over here. So they are underneath the shelving, which makes a much cleaner look and is easier to just spread out the bucket and give out supplements and everything as needed. I have all of the supplements kind of in the little cubby corner window things wherever they fit honestly. It worked out really well just everything is nice and compacted and I know where everything goes. This room ended up being Robbie's little shop. He needed an area to keep all of his stuff and with a concrete floor and just a lot of organization space and to keep everything organized and in his own space so that worked out really well until we can build him his own shop. So maybe one day that'll be the feed room again but until then it makes a really nice contained space for all his step and then over here we have my tack area i have my tack box and i moved my girth wall over there i really don't know why i have so many girths but that's okay that's a dog bed and i moved elliot's flag over there so it doesn't block this fan here and again that is just a storage stall in there it's kind of chaotic but that's the next thing on the organization to-do list and here we have it folks the tack room which was Oh, so, so exhausting to try and redo and make sure everything fits well. We're going to put more saddle racks there and there and possibly over in that corner, but those are really hard to find locally right now, so I got to work on that. But right now we have everything fitting. We have kind of like a training bridle wall over here. We have my lesson kids helmets and boots. And of course, most importantly, we have snacks, candies, all that good stuff, mostly for my lesson kids or so I like to say. And we have this shelving over here, primarily the cat shelf, what I'm calling it. The cats really like that window right there, so they like to lay on there, and that's their little safe spot. I put the food up there during the day so the dogs don't get it. Then we have like a saddle pad shelf, and over here I have all of my stuff that I pretty much only take to shows, like their leather halters and stuff that just kind of stays out of the way for now. And down there we just have some extra storage, like extra halters, you know, just whatever, some cat food that really should be in the corner. And here we have the refrigerator in the corner that has snacks, drinks, ice boots, whatnot, some kitty food, some water, and down here. Oh yes, we also added this little latch thing to help close the door behind you in case you come in to ride at night and don't let the cats out. And we have dog food down here. And then I had these random little wooden box shelf thingies. I don't know, my mom gave them to me. And we just mounted those and made extra little cubbies for the borders. I also have things like my helmet, extra stirrup things, like lesson grooming kit, random extras in there. It just kind of, yeah. And then we're going to float on up here to the good part. This is the wall of wonderfulness that I'm calling it. All of the boarders so far have loved it and been able to find their stuff so, so easily. We have these little wire baskets here that I've kind of just like been working on organizing. I'm not like just kind of in a rush to put stuff anywhere I don't want it to be disorganized and here we have like the dog supplements and stuff like that all the dog stuff that's Nemo's little hair dryer that he loves and up here we have my just kind of like rags and like clean laundry stuff like easy access grab for cleaning some more cleaning stuff my bit box and soft rides that are just kind of stay out of the way but they're there when I need them and then we have what I call the bridal wall I kind of just let the borders fill in as needed, um, put up as many bridles as they want. We kind of just, you know, fill in as long as you can find your stuff and as long as you're happy with where it's going, you can move it around. Like I'm very free flowing with that kind of stuff. Like as long as it works for you, works for me, all cool, groovy, awesome. I love this. It was so, so easy to put up. My boyfriend was awesome to help me and it worked so well and it's really, really sturdy. I like how you can tighten the things on there and they actually bear a lot of weight, surprisingly. And I really like how you can just kind of organize everything as need be so like you can move stuff around really easily and space it out. 
So that is what the barn is looking like, and Miss Bonnie is ready for a nap. But let me know if you have any questions about anything featured in this video, and thank you guys for watching!